Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be kind of doing an overview and review of this brand new brand that I just discovered. It's called ZC Cosmetics. So if you wanna hear my thoughts, see all of their beautiful products and just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. One of my favorite things about what I do on YouTube is being able to introduce you guys to new brands. And when I initially created my channel, that wasn't my intention of my channel. And I just discovered through YouTube so many amazing brands. And ZC Cosmetics has caught my eye. Now, it was on my Instagram for the longest time. And they reached out to me asking, if I would like to try their products and I was so excited by the brand and tr after trying the products they definitely got my stamp of approval and so they offered to sponsor today's video. I'm so excited. So thank you so much to ZC for sponsoring today's video. However, you guys know all thoughts and opinions, of course, are my own. This video wouldn't be sponsored if I didn't like the brand. If you don't know what ZC Cosmetics is, it's a Chinese cosmetics company. To say it like flat out, they have some of the most beautiful makeup I have ever seen. Like not to be dramatic, but really surprisingly at a quite affordable price because some of these products look extremely luxurious. So if you are a packaging person like myself, you're gonna be obsessed with this brand. I think the number one thing about this brand is definitely the packaging. If you're not a packaging person, I feel like this brand will make you become a packaging person because it's <laughs> incredible. So anyways, like I said, I discovered ZC Cosmetics through Instagram. Their marketing is amazing. So they are a Chinese makeup brand. The majority of their products don't really have English on them or very few English words on them. It's hard to identify the names on the pro products. Like it feels really cool. Like I feel like I'm in a really neat niche area of makeup because the makeup is marketed towards Asian communities and oh my gosh it's just so beautiful so if you're looking into ZC Cosmetics I would definitely direct you into going to their collections because that is where the artistic makeup is so they've done a lot of collaborations with the British Museum kind of weird but they've created some amazing products now if you don't know what the british museum is it actually was the first national public museum in the entire world so they have over two million years of history in that museum from around the entire world and oh my gosh the collections they've created with the british museum okay let's just let's get into it i will of course put an overlay of the products that i use so you can see them in application but I, this video is just focused on the packaging because it's incredible so we're gonna specifically start off with the enchanting Egyptian collection where they have six eyeshadow palettes. Now looking at their website, they are $30 each if you're interested in purchasing these. I want you to pay close attention to the packaging of each of these palettes because each packaging is inspired from different elements from the Egypt collection from the British Museum. I feel like this is something that my dad would think is so cool because he's actually a history teacher. <laughs> so this is the box that the first one comes and then I'm gonna show you and you'll see literally it's all Chinese. I have to look on the website to see what the name is. <laughs> so we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing. This is called, oh my gosh, the Ankh palette, I believe is how you say it. And here's what the front looks like. They do have mirrors and here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Such a fun color story and you can see the textures right here. This is the palette that I'm wearing right now. I have this color as my transition color. I then went in with this green color as the inner and outer corner color along my lower lash line as well. It blended very nice. It held the pigment very well. I then used this dark green shadow, which you see has a beautiful embossment to it as the depth for the inner and outer corner and lower lash line as well. Again, blended very easily. And then here's the star of the show in this palette right here, this glitter shade. Now it's not a 
pressed glitter but it's so sparkly it's so pretty there are a couple of pressed glitters in some other palettes but this one doesn't have a pressed glitter per se but oh my gosh this palette is absolutely stunning now I have a lot of palettes that I got from this company so I haven't played with all of the palettes or all of the colors but I really loved every single color I tried in today's palette I will say among the palettes sometimes I do notice some inconsistencies with the shadows where some are gray and pigmented and creamy and then some shimmer shadows might be a little bit lackluster and same with the mattes but for the most part and I think for $30 the quality is definitely pretty good but yes this is the one that I'm wearing today and I think of all of the ones in this collection this one is probably the most unique Okay, so this one is the Geyer Anderson hat. So here is what the packaging looks like for this. And the color story here, this is another fun one. This is actually the first one that I used. And I created a really pretty neutral look. You'll see this one does have a pressed glitter, but it has a nice number of shimmers. Some of the shades in here are a bit similar, but if you like neutrals, this is really nice. And I really do enjoy the pops of greens here as well. So again, this one is a really nice neutral palette. If you're into these types of shades. Next we have the Cobra palette. If you're into more neutral kind of taupey colors you're gonna like this one. So obviously the art on it is inspired from a Cobra. Now I don't know the exact historical references behind the packaging but I can certainly appreciate them. This neutral lovers you're going to enjoy this. This shade right here looks incredible. So this is one that I haven't personally gotten to use yet but I'm really excited to. I feel like this is one that I'll probably use a lot. Next we have Papyrus. So this one is what the packaging looks like right here. And by the way, the I forgot to mention this, but it is like a plastic component, but it feels pretty weighty. You can tell it's plastic, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. You know, it does have some weight to it. And here is what this palette looks like. So if you're into warm tone neutrals, you will really like these. This one does have a pressed glitter. I'm not a big fan of their pressed glitter formula. I think they're a little bit too gel-like, especially the ones with the big chunks in it. But their shimmer formulas are pretty nice. Now these do have a little bit of a scent. It is slight chemically. It kind of reminds me of a Makeup Revolution palette. So if you're sensitive to that fragrance then this probably isn't the brand for you to want to try but for me that doesn't personally bother me so I just wanted you to be aware of that. But this one is really pretty. This is the one where I felt like some of the shimmers were a little bit inconsistent. There was like I think it was this one right here wouldn't really show up but, but then it was confusing because the one beside it was so creamy and delicious. Yes. Next, we have Scarab, which is right here. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is textured and beautiful. And by the way, each comes with an insert that's similar to the art on the outside packaging. Again, this is more, this kind of has like a Huda Beauty vibe to it. So if you're looking for a palette that has like the nude vibe to it that Huda has, this one is very similar. The shade reminds me of something that's in this palette. Really pretty. This one is a little bit heavy on the shimmers, but great if you like nude neutral everyday kind of pinky tones. And then the last one that we have is Eye of Oris. And this one is really fun. I think this one is one of my favorites. This is the one where I created multiple looks with and I was obsessed. I feel like the quality in here was <laughs> especially good for whatever reason. But this gorgeous gold shade right here knocked my socks off and I love like the bronzy tones that we have in here. Uh, this blue isn't the best, but then again, this blue is really good. <laughs> but these are great right on the lower lash line with a golden lid. This palette really inspires me to create looks like that. So this one is really pretty. So all of these color stories, they really speak a true story. They're very cohesive. They're easy to make looks with. As far as the quality of all these palettes, I find them to be pretty good across the board. Like I said, there might be a couple inconsistencies for the most part for the packaging and the story and the packaging really really nice i'm very happy with them all right let's move on to the next collection so this is also a collection with the british museum but it's the british museum alice and wonderland collection so the palettes there are three palettes in this collection there's a more neutral one that looks really pretty i don't have that one but i have the two colorful ones the packaging is incredible these are about 35 dollars each and you can see so much detail went in behind every aspect of the packaging so I have the red one here 
You can see the glitter running throughout the whole packaging and I love how the box paired with it. And when you open it up, it is a 10 pan palette. So you'll get four shades in the middle and then you kind of have some weird like split pans. Again, I don't like the pressed glitter in here, but the shimmers are incredible. The mattes I feel like are kind of hit and miss. In this palette, I do like the mattes more than the next palette. So I, overall, I would say this is a very solid palette. As for far as quality. The shimmers are amazing. Now something that I did want to keep in mind with this brand in general is it's an Asian makeup brand so their style of eyeshadow is different than what we have in the United States so I did feel like some of the mattes were maybe less pigmented but I do believe that that was truly intentional because that's the style of makeup in Asia. So that is something that you might also want to keep in mind if you do decide to purchase from the brand. It's a true Asian makeup brand. But anyways this palette is really pretty. It's a a little bit more on the warm neutral side so I don't see it as something that I would grab for a lot because I don't reach for these tones a lot but really pretty and the first palette that I ended up playing with from this collection was this blue one this one also as you can see has the glitter falling and uh, just love the packaging so much detail behind it even everything in the embossment you know we have Alice's bow right here all of that this one again really pretty the mattes here I thought were a little bit spotty they weren't my favorite but the shimmer again in here were incredible. It does have that pressed glitter formula in here as well but if you're into these colors this one is really fun and like I said the shimmers I don't have a formula quite like these that feel like these. They almost feel wet and they almost melt in your hand but they spread so beautifully on the eyelid. The last part of the collection that I wanted to share with you is they actually came out with a color mascara and I have a lot of other color mascaras from this collection that I'm going to talk about later on with you guys but I put it on my lower lash line because because it is a glitter mascara. So here's what the packaging looks like. And then you open it up and you can see, it's like a, you'll see, it's even the wand is designed like the Alice in Wonderland <laughs> with this little tip thing, but it's a glitter mascara. And one thing that I've learned about this brand, if you're really into fun, artistic, different makeup looks, they have every mascara color and eyeliner under the sun. I put a little bit of the glitter on my lower lashes just for fun and I'm surprised at how much it stands out. Now, I don't like to do fancy things with my lashes because mine are so small and I don't want to emphasize that, but it's really fun. So if you have been looking for a colorful glittery mascara, I do think ZC fills a hole that's not in the makeup market in the US. This is a collection that I know you guys are going to love. This is a collection that um, is worth every penny. I'm obsessed with this collection. It's the most beautiful makeup I've ever seen, I've ever held. I know this is gonna sound very dramatic and you're like, girl, this video is sponsored. No, like this is actually the most beautiful makeup that I've ever seen. So this collection is called the Forbidden City Collection. It's inspired by the romance and mystery of Asian Chinese dynasties. So I'm getting this from the website. It's designed with contemporary styles to provide you with a classical sense of culturally rich beauty. It's an ode to princesses and seductive concubines that reside within the Forbidden City. So fun, the rich culture that is behind this collection. This collection is a bit more pricey than the previous collections I just talked about, but you will see why. So first we're going to start off with the first product that I use on my face today, which I don't even want to tell you what they are. I just want to show you. So here's the box, okay? You pull it out. Guys, I'm half Chinese, so this really excites me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And this little guy is heavy. So this is an eyebrow pencil. These are called the Koi Eyebrow Pencils. They are $18. On one side, you get a spoolie. This is particularly in the shade number three. This is a shade that I'm wearing right now. And then you get a very fine tipped eyebrow pencil. I love how thin this feels in the hand, but it's very heavy. It feels like it's $60. Seriously, the packaging just feels so luxurious. And you guys know I have a lot of luxury items in my collection. This feels like it's 
$60. There are a couple shades. I have the other shade as well. Number three is a little bit more warm, whereas number two is a little bit more cool. As far as the formulation goes, I really love this formula. It's a little bit more dry and waxy. I cannot stand a creamy eyebrow pencil. This is not creamy. It's nice and dry. It blends out really easily. This is right up my alley. Everything from formula to color to packaging, like I have to keep it in this packaging forever. And I actually like, how much more fancy can we get underneath? You have a velvet pouch to keep your eyebrow pencil in. Like that's, that's ridiculous. It's $18 too. Honestly, I that's such a steal for what it is. So I got two of those sent to me. The other product that's similar, so it comes in similar packaging. This is the Fairy Deer Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. So same packaging. And this is a little bit more of a wet formula, which I really like. I love how fine the tip is. It's short and it's fine, so I feel like I get a lot of control. And maybe it's because I'm half Asian and this is designed for Asian eyes, but it's just so small and perfect for my small Asian eyes. And again, same thing with the packaging with how luxurious it feels. I really, really like it. It wears pretty well. If I have a lot going on on my eyelid, I do have to go over it a couple times to make sure it gets very black. But other than that, I mean, it covers well. It doesn't get crusty if you layer it like some liquid liner as well so it layers well over itself and it's just so easy to control okay the last part of this collection it just gets better from here <laughs> i'm so dramatic but i'm so obsessed so these are called the gilt gold dragon velvet lipsticks so here is what the packaging looks like now these are more pricey these are 30 dollars which again they should be like 80 dollars okay i don't think you're ready for this This is the most beautiful lipstick I've ever seen. I mean, maybe I'm biased because I'm Chinese, but this is like Charlotte Tilbury on, I don't know what kind of steroids, you know, such a heavy, beautiful product. It's a magnetic closure for those of you who get satisfaction from that. It continues on. Do you see that embossment? Oh my goodness. Guys, there are three shades in this collection. I wish I could tell you how the quality is, but I haven't gotten myself to use these yet because they're, they're just so pretty. I can't yet. I can't. So I'm sorry. I can't tell you how the quality is because I can't get past the packaging. Like $30 for me to look at this <laughs> is worth it. This is decor. Are you kidding me? You guys know I'm a true makeup enthusiast. Packaging is very important to me and this is a shade m05 by the way if you wanted to know i'll show you the other shades but i'm not swatching them i'm not ready i'm not emotionally ready to handle that maybe a video in the future but three different colors they all have the same packaging this one is a bit more of a bright orange red really pretty shade m01 and then this last one is shade m08 and this one is a bit more of a deeper red shade again really beautiful i wish i had worn these for lunar new year i actually would have broken one of these in for lunar new year okay anyways that is it for the palace identity collection my goodness if you're gonna purchase one thing from this brand do yourself a favor something from the palace identity collection because it's so worth the money such a great value i think just compared to the other luxury formulas that i have in my collection everything about that collection great now they do also have like a regular makeup line so these are all collaborations but i did want to share with you the products that they sent me from just their normal like makeup line um so i'll start off with the oh i just threw one across the room so they have these galaxy gl <gasps> somebody help so they have these Glitter Galaxy Colored Liquid Shadows. So these are $14 each. I've only used one of these twice. And it's the shade... I don't know. Because they don't have the name on them. I think it's the shade Bubble Tea. I think it's Bubble Tea. 
because that sounds like a color I would pick out. And this particular shade, really beautiful. It has a lot of pigment and shine to it, and I did really enjoy the formula, and I think the price is right. But what does confuse me a little bit is these have, like, different applicators. Like, this one, this white glitter shade is, like, a liner, but it has chunkier glitters. I don't think it's necessarily intended to be used all over the lid. Again, I just don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what colors these are, but they have some really pretty, beautiful colors. This is a formula that I do think I want to play with some more before I can give you final thoughts. From what I've used so far, I really do like them, but I want to play with these chunkier colors because I'm just not sure yet, you know? But here are the colors that I do have. And if you go on their website, you'll be able to see what applicator you are getting. So that will kind of help you out a little bit. Like I believe the white one that I have is called Pandora Box. This purple rain, this one has a liner and it's like a chunkier purple glitter. Again, if you don't like glitter, maybe stay away from that one. And then the other one that I have, I believe this is Sunset Boulevard. It's color number two is what it says on the bottom, but the rest of them don't have anything on the bottom. I really don't know. It's very, very cool. I'm not sure if you've ever felt like you needed some liquid liners in different colors, but the ZC collection has a lot of different colors and they're a little bit more on the wet side just like that black one but I think that makes it a little bit easier to control like it's not a really thin wet it's a little bit of a thicker wet so it doesn't swim into lines on the eyelid and some strange colors the only one I've used so far is a brown again there's no color names on here but like you get this crazy peach color look at this white the white is impressive the white's a little bit more wet I noticed than the other ones but I feel like they probably had to do that just to get you know the pigment for the white to show you have this cool charcoal color this is a shade I use it's kind of like a khaki brown color really unique you don't have another liner like that they even have a really fun pink and you can see as I line them on my hand they have a lot of pigment so if you've been looking for some pigmented colored liquid liners these are really great and they dry down pretty quickly and they don't move I'm waiting for the white to dry down just because this one dries a little bit slower than the others but you'll see like they're not transferring, even the white dried down. So these I've actually been quite impressed with. They are really fun. I've had a fun time playing with these and they are most definitely a unique product. And I, I can't really think of a brand that's known for having really good colorful liquid liners. I feel like in the US, they kind of aren't very good. These are definitely the best that I've tried. And then the last kind of eye product, they have a lot of mascaras and these are gonna be about $14 each and every single one is so different. They have every color and finish and wand available to be quite honest. I started off with the black one today and I can say as far as the black mascara formula it's not going to thicken your lashes but it really does separate and define the lashes but if you're looking for thickness you're not going to get that. Let me just go through the colors and the wands so you can kind of pick up what I'm putting down here. Like for example this is just like a silver glitter and I don't know I feel like this would be cool to put in your eyebrows. This is if you're creative with makeup. I'm not very creative with makeup so these are mascaras that I'm personally going to grab for but just so you know they are available in the market you have this really fun kind of rich warm brown mascara I'm showing you the boring ones first if you look close this is like a reddish hot pink mascara with a curved wand Hold on, I'm trying to show you the fun ones that they have oh we have a navy blue mascara and if you're wondering where you would use like with these weird colored mascaras if you're doing a colorful look you'd put them on your lower lashes and it would just blend in with the look and like really cool I just don't do looks like that that often okay here's where things get weird this glittery gold in this little spike ball how fun I never use this in my entire life but how fun um a green mascara I wish I didn't put the glitter on. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had a green one. I would put it on my lower lashes. So fun. Okay, the black one is like normal. Great for lower lashes, by the way. It has a nice wand for that. And oh my gosh, look at this. Hot pink orange. Ugh, it's hard to show. It's hot pink orange. So cool, so fun. Again, probably not something I'd use a lot, but if you're on the market for that, I feel like that's something that's unique to the brand. Okay, last couple of items to talk about. Again, we're really only on the actual brand's products. So I did pick up a couple of their blushes. Let me see how much they are. So these are about $12 each. They're very affordable. I'm wearing the shade number three right now. If you're wondering, it's kind of like a warmy kind of color. These are very sheer. 
Again, I'm imagining it's because it's an Asian makeup product. I really like it. I prefer a sheer blush. Now these do have a matte finish. They blend out very easily and they're very easy to use because of their formula because while they're sheer, they're still buildable. So this one's really pretty. I do think a few of their colors are similar from what I've seen because I have number two, which is a bit more like lighter, but it is still very close to the color that I got. But the formulation themselves are really nice, just an easy to throw on blush. And then I also wanted to try out their highlighter. These are the Dreamland Highlight Powders. I got mine in the shade SO2. You can see this has such a beautiful embossment to it. I'm looking on the website. I can't find this, but it's really pretty. Do you see that? It's a nice highlighter. It's really pretty. I love the embossment on the actual product itself and it's quite smoothing but very beaming. So it's a nice highlight. I've been using it a lot the last few weeks. Oh, one last product that I almost forgot about. So this is another eyeshadow palette very similar to the Egypt collection but I think it's just from their regular makeup line. But look at this packaging. We got Hello Hollow Graph. I wanted it because it has a cute animal on it and I haven't used it and I probably won't use it because there's cute embossments in the shadows with animal dog prints and a cat mouth and whiskers and I just think it's adorable. Uh, this palette does have three pressed glitters so I don't see it being my personal favorite but it has a fun color story and I just think it's adorable and I love the packaging. And yes, I am that person who definitely buys cosmetics and makes makeup products for the packaging. It's who I am. I don't apologize for it. So essentially, this video was for those of you who um, are also huge packaging connoisseurs like myself. I think overall the quality of the makeup, it's definitely, it's good quality. Like being 100% transparent, it's not gonna knock your socks out of the water. The packaging is what definitely knocks your socks out of the water because is that even a saying? I don't know, but you know what I'm trying to get across here. The packaging of this, if you're looking for a fun experience and to look behind and beyond the makeup this brand is really neat something very cool to check out and again thank you so much to ZC for offering to collaborate with me on this because I am 1010% impressed and elated and I can't wait to continue using these products and they inspire me to really just kind of step outside of my comfort zone and play with makeup that I don't own anything like in my collection anyways that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.